Welcome to the Brownwood Bulletin's webcast for Friday, June 4th, 2010. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer for the Bulletin, and here's some of the top news and sports stories we'll have in our Friday paper. The early Lady Horns' hopes of reaching the state Class 2A softball finals faded Thursday afternoon with a 1-0 loss to George West. The teams battled to a 0-0 deadlock until the 11th inning when George West scored the only run of the game. More coverage of the game will be offered online tonight and in the Friday print edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Law enforcement officers from eight different agencies executed search and arrest warrants early Thursday that landed 27 people in jail on charges of engaging in organized crime for trafficking methamphetamine. We'll have the details of the sting investigation in our Friday paper. The annual Brown County Relay for Life steps off with the survivor's lap at 6 p.m. Friday at Gordon Wood Stadium. This year's adult honorary chair is Susie Schaffer, and kindergartner Jillian Sapp is the children's honorary chair. Residents at North Lake Brownwood are urged to keep boiling their water and please continue to conserve. Normal water service was beginning to return to some households Thursday, but the boil order will continue for another week at least. You'll get all these stories and more in our Friday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at brownwoodbulletin.com.